can you hear me okay can you see the ppts yes sir yes yes you have to give the response okay fine okay in today classes what we are discussing uh hello yes so in last class uh, we are discussing about the application layer protocols we are getting uh, different services at application layer by means of executing a particular protocol so now uh, in this uh, module yes we are selecting few protocols and how it will work and what is the functionality of the particular protocol is yes? and what is the format of that what is the nature of the particular protocol is yes? last class said there are many protocols are there whichever uh, protocols are there in application layer it has to communicate with his neighbor who is that neighbor tcp and udp so we said that depends on the application server So it depends on application service. Huh? Yes, are the type of service. Yes, in the application layer, if the client wants a reliable service, that particular protocol of application layer has to communicate with the TCP. Yes, if the service is not much reliable, not much guarantee, that protocol, that protocol. protocol may use udp also may use udp so like that which of the protocol or they at the application layer has to use is neighbor friend that is transport layer protocols yes you can see this picture last class we discussed is yes? there are email service at least you can see the table application layer application layer protocol underlying transport protocol yes so left side application layer you from application layer you can get lot of services email services by smtp protocol you can see that rx remote terminal access by using telnet yes 854 web services is yes, web pages downloading is yes, http rfc 2616 file transfer ftp protocol is yes, the rfc is 959 if you want to go details about uh, ftp or any other protocol you have to refer a particular rfc or rfc document okay then we have http rtp or is rtp is yes. ha huh? you can refer the particular 1889 that is multimedia services yes. and if you are using the internet to for telephony yes sip rtp is yes. then you have to use like skype etc you have to use respective document you can search in the internet you can get that but that protocol all these protocol services protocols yes they have to take the help of his friend neighbor friend is tcp tcp see that smtp mail services it has to be perfect so it has to take the uh, help of tcp only tcp is a guarantee one s yes. next telnet http s yes. ftp whenever you say that multimedia yes if you want to download the picos photo or is yes, that old man mithun chakravarty's photo is yes, whichever it is even there is you can use the udp also you can use you can use the udp so in udp there is a possibility of some percentage of loss at 1% or 5% you may have bit loss but you can see that the picos photo is yes, or if you don't want to loss any one bit yes of the dpcos photo yes 
then you can use the TCP connection because everybody using the TCP continuously. Sometimes like it is busy, so parallelly you can use the UDP. Yes, internet telephone Skype. Like uh, you can do that. What is webinars? You can do that paper presentation. So so depends on the requirement. Uh, if it is like any uh, what is uh, any live telecasting is, you can depends on the requirement. How the clients want? You want the guarantee service or even it is there is small loss that can be manageable then you can use the udp understood so the different protocol and application layers with their different services is and rfcs and which help they can take whether take the guarantee service or not guarantee service okay next last class we said last previous back in say ipv4 version now it is ipv6 is there in IPv4 version, there is no much importance for the security. But whereas in nowadays, IPv6 is there. First, you are sending some message, minimum security should be there. That means the data has to be encrypted or hidden with some makeup. So, in transport layer, you are using SSL protocol. Eh? We are using SSL protocol protocol for communication. How you are communicating in a transport layer using that socket. So along with the socket communication, that means whatever the message at transport layer that is exchanged with the help of sockets. Yes, in in a, in a application layer we have the port number. In transport layer we have the socket. In a, uh, IP layer or network layer, you have the IP addresses. Yes, in down layer, data link or MAC, both are same. Yes, just you require a MAC address. So, like that, a packet has to be recognized with the various parameters or addressed with the various parameters. How a person can be addressed with the yes, iris, uh, fingerprint, uh, face recognition, yes, mobile number. How you are recognizing for a particular person, yes, in the cyberspace or somewhere. In the same manner, a packet or a message on the internet can be recognized by different parameters, port number, which is yes, port number, socket, and you have the IP address, then MAC. Okay. So like that, each packet when goes from client to server or friend to friend, yes, so it has to be encrypted. That is called SSL secure socket layer or TLS also. You can say the name is TLS. Okay, fine. So these are the things you have discussed in last class. Okay, so mainly what are different services and application layer and what are the respective protocols is and then which help they can take. Yes. So now uh, for we are discussing a few protocols. So that is uh, HTTP protocol. So what are the versions of HTTP protocol? What are the formats of HTTP protocol? and how it will communicate okay and then we are discussing about the ftp protocol same so what is the ftp protocol what are different formats of ftp protocol how it will communicate in the same manner we are discussing about the smtp protocol what is simple mail transfer protocol for mail services what is the mail format the to from a body is the communication what is the message format so all those things we are discussing same thing we are discussing about the DNS protocol. So this is important protocol. Yes, how that DNS server will work. It's just like a mobile number, your name. Whenever, whenever even you can use the Google Assistant if you call your name or your friend name, yes, that name matches to yes to that particular mobile number and that mobile number will be dialed. So in DNS only, when you type yt.2.2.in, dot two dot dot in, yes behind that ip address is matched so that ip address has to fetch from the dns and then that that ip address is have a particular website that will be activated that will be activated so like that how uh, dns and ip addresses are organized in a dns server and how it will fetch and how to maintain the time so those things we are discussing in DNS protocol. So today we are discussing about HTTP. Okay. Can you hear my voice? All of you can yes, hear my voice. 
Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So, so have you heard? <coughs> Uh, we can see the PPT. So, what is there in the PPT? What you want to say in the PPT? Yes. What you want to say in the PPT? Understood the PPT. What he is saying? Say all of you understood. So, what you want to say the web page? So, what is the web page? So, web page is yes, uh, a HTML format. Yes, so what HTML file to click it, take any web page or any news page? Yes, right click and see that. Click on the right click and drop down list. If you select the source, yes, you will see that the code of that particular web page. Yes, so that is written in HTML language yes or no so whatever the language they may use but it is a collection of objects that means that HTML consists of different URLs that means some photo is stored yes uh, at the server but that address uh, will be there in that HTML code yes some video yes some video link will be there YouTube link if you keep there when you click that that particular video will be fetched from the server to your browser then it is started playing so like that to say that web page web page is a collection of urls collection of urls what are these url urls these url url may be audio maybe a video maybe a web page maybe a pdf maybe a word file which are there in the folder of servers in the folder of server when you click that that particular file or PDF, yes, word file or particular uh, what is a uh, video audio file will be downloaded here huh? in your system or it is played in the browser. It is played in the browser. Okay, so like that, the web page is a collection of URLs or collection of objects. Yes, got it. So first, web page consists of objects. Yes. Object can be HTML file, JPEG, image, Java, yes, Java, Java pretty small program, audio file, yes, word file, PDF file, yes, any, yes, uh, anybody, anybody's photo, yes, web page consists of base HTML file, so what are the web page you can see, if you right click, yes, see the code, it is in a HTML form language, includes several referred objects, if you see that, there you can see the lot of URLs or addresses, which refers the address of a file which is stored in the server is yes. each object is addressed by URL universal resource locator yes so that for example some picture is there dot GIF is yes. so if you want to download some Emma Molinese picture is yes. yes it will be addressed like that says yes. some server uh, so there you have dot some server and some folder in that folder the file will be there yes so like that here, some school name they have given dot edu, some department in the department you are is downloading the particular brochure. Okay. So like that, the whole web page is a collection of URLs or objects. Yes, got this. Next, what second page says, just go through that. Anybody try it? Yes, what is that? there is a server you can picture yes there are two friends yes so friend one and friend two or hero or heroine yes hero is using laptop yes heroine is mobile yes and uh, this is like server like which maybe in amazon or yes some other e-commerce servers yes and starting they used to buy yes the sir will buy yes some yes uh, Garments for madam, yes, and same thing, sir will buy some, madam will buy some shirt or uh, for the butter days, yes, sir. But how these two persons or two persons are communicating with the server, communicating with the HTTP request and HTTP response. When sir sends HTTP request when with the same, yes, whenever it is 
other servers is clips is so there is a response and when 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 request of a particular shirt or a t-shirt is automatically server will reply yes like that like that the http protocol works based on request and response request and response okay so how request will be sorted so from source and destination is server source is client yes so so madam is booking a t-shirt so when she book clicks on a particular shirt the t is so when you click on a particular shirt that connection Yes, whatever it is, that is that click is taken by the HTTP protocol. Yes, that request taken by the HTTP protocol, and then it has to pass us through his friend house, that is transport layer. So it takes the help of TCP. Okay, then it takes, then it goes to the uh, network layer, then it goes to the physical layer, transmitted, then all the bits formed as a uh, what is uh, of uh, frames, then it is packet, and then it is become to the S. Yes? Uh, segments, messages, and so forth. Then it is given to the particular server. Yes, in server, that request is query is processed. For which shirt it is she ordered particular shirt, or she want to see that particular shirt. is yes. so that will be query and that fetch the particular file and given back to the uh, madams through the HTTP response. Yes, when it comes to that madam system, the T-shirt will be yes. Process in the browser and that particular teaching t-shirt will be opened. Yes, understood. So like that the communication between the client and server in HTTP protocol is it in the form of HTTP request and response. So HTTP protocol follows the client server architecture. Okay. So so what is a web application layer protocol? So it is in a web application layer protocol. Yes, it follows the client and server model. Yes, browser that requests, receives. So what is the main? User is interacting through the browser. Yes, sir, browser is an application. Behind that, HTTP protocol is there. Yes, when it clicks a particular object, yes, the request goes to through the HTTP then it has to process through the transport layer then it will take the help of tcp okay that is request is going protocol displays the web objects next web server sends using http protocol objects in response to the request that means in client you have all the seven layers the message has to go to the physical layer why the same way at server also you have all seven layers or five layers whichever it is protocol is there whichever uh, model is there at both application layer you have the client http at the right side at server we have that server http yes understood so like that the request and response both will take the help of the tcc TC. so what we want to say is that here, so in this picture, you can see that how a client and server uh, communicate uh, with a request and response of HTTP. Okay, and how it will take the client and server architecture. And second one, yes, uh, the request goes with the HTTP, then it clicks the TCP. HTTP clicks the TCP. Yes, what are the connection transfer to that? TCP. Yes, then it goes to the IP layer, then it goes to that MAC layer, then transmitted, then for a final it goes to that, then MAC layer, yes, then IP layer, then transport layer, then finally application layer. Okay. So when it when the TCP request, when you request the TCP clicks to the TCP, clicks to the TCP. So, TCP, yes, no, how the TCP protocol? Because it is a transmission protocol. Yes, it is a transmission, transmission company protocol. So, if the TCP wants to work, so what it has to do? First, it has to start the connection. It has to start the connection. Yes, then once it is, yes, connect, first phase, it has three phases. Yes, 
first is connection established that hello hello shake hand first is hello hello after that communication once the communication is over then it will close the connection close the connection first is connection phase next second one the data transmission phase then disconnection phase or connection close phase yes so when http clicks on the tcp yes then connection is initiated connection means that means tcp communicate to that server yes the connection is established after that the file whatever it is required is transferred after transferring the connection will be closed okay http always uses tcp so http <laughs> uses tcp client initiate tcp connection yes when you click on a particular object behind HTTP activated after the HTTP it is activated by it is activated to the TCP okay connection initiate TCP connection create socket the message is, is given to the socket of TCP okay and it goes to that connection to the server at the server side the port number is 80 for the same port number at client side is different yes so the port numbers client side http port number at client side is different http port number at the server side is different yes so it will communicate the server with the port number is http port number is 80 server accept tcp connection from client yes he requested he given a shake hand the server also gives a shake hand yes i am free i can communicate with you okay http messages application layer protocol messages http message means the message in the application layer exchange between browser http client and web server so whatever it is through the tp tcp connection yes in request and response way the message is exchanged tcp connection closed yes first start the connection and uh, exchange the message then tcp connection you have to close okay what you want to say is that HTTP is a stateless protocol. Yes, so what are the HTTP is there? It is a stateless. That means what? Uh, generally, we have seen yes, uh, some protocols they store the recent information just like your username password. If you have typed the username password, it will ask whether you have to remember. Yes, to so say the remember, whatever you typed recently, yes. And suddenly power goes power goes or your phone is closer. Yes, when next time if you want to open, yes, all the details you have registration details if you have given, all these details will be you can easily if you click the particular tab, yes, that recent type of message will come. Yes or no? That means what? The recent communication or type of messages or yes, temporarily stored at both places. Both places. If client types something, it will be stored at the client places. Or the whatever the really recent request searched or particular object is searched at the server side, those information is also stored temporarily for some time. So that is called state state protocol. Some protocols they store the recent transaction information for some time. Okay, so that even if there is a power goes, even there is a problem, the crash with that uh, protocol. Yes, with the existing information, they can easily connect, immediately they connect easily. But HTTP is a stateless, it won't store any information. It won't store username, it won't store any password, it won't store any re recent registration information, nothing it will store. Yes, if you type, if you forget, like if you, if you want, once again, if you want to log in, you have to retype to all the information. Okay, or you can. Or you can say it won't store any your behavioral information, recent search information. Okay, so HTTP is a stateless protocol. Server maintains no information about the post client request. Yes, so many clients are interacting with the servers for different purpose. Maybe downloading file, request, whatever may be. So generally, the HTTP or server side will store some basic information of each client. Okay, for next better connection. Okay, so protocol that maintain state or complex some protocols they maintain the recent information of client. So those protocols are complex protocols. Post history must be maintained. 
recent or post history must be maintained by some protocols if server client crashes their use of state may be inconsistent must be reconsidered for example sometimes he said no? if it is a protocol is a state state protocol yes and if he stores any recent transactions of a client if there is a crashes because of some other problem yes then the server can easily make a connection with the client yes it won't take much time for the connecting if it is a stateless protocol it will take more time for reconnecting yes and rejoining all these problems okay so now you understood http is a stateless protocol so what is a stateless protocol yes what is a stateful protocol you can say stateful protocol or stateless protocol stateful means remember recent history of a client yes stateless means it won't remember recent history of his yes, recent connections or user connections okay. you got little bit what is stateless and stateful okay i think yes so yes sir yes we said that what we say http is in a web page is a consist of collection of objects yes the communication is is done by yes request and response by clicking a particular uh, url okay one minute okay now uh, fine and uh, and we said that yes uh, tcp uh, it takes help of tcp and tcp is a connection oriented protocol first it has to establish the connection and then it will transfer the messages after complete transfer of the particular object or photo or a file it automatically discloses like the three pages are there yes the tcp so http always take the help of tcp okay and then we said client side and server side we have different port numbers even the every protocol maximum they uses different different port numbers yes so http client has separate number http server has different port number we said port number 80 yes and how it will help tcp for transferring the particular file next we said http is state full and stateless HTTP we said it is stateless protocol. What is stateless and what is stateful? Okay, so what is the advantages of stateful and stateless? And there are disadvantages of state stateful protocols also. Okay. For example, you can say, uh, generally you are connecting to the bank with the help of HTTP. So whatever the username and password you type, yes, at a public place. Where we want to transfer some money, emergency, or you are using the public booth to transfer some money. After you transferred money and you came back, next time if some person goes, opens the same SBI online website, yes, it will automatically open that username and password. When you click on the username but uh, tab, it gives them you know, the username, previous user, previous client username, and password also to store. So second person can easily log in. Yes, so like the there are some uh, disadvantages of a stateful protocol. Yes, some advantages of stateless protocols also. So here for financial transaction, we have to use stateless HTTP, stateless HTTP, so that it won't store any information of uh, the recent client transactions. So stateless is important there. HTTP status is important where you are doing financial transaction. Yes, or if you are doing a general information, for example, if you are searching issues, yes, uh, like uh, you are searching issues and you are typing different companies and different sizes, different colors, yes, and uh, uh, your uh, like your whatever your interest is, everything will be. Temporarily store that information and that information given to the different servers yes, so that you will get them you will get more Information on shoes yes. click one company right side you will get the other company's details also In this case stateful protocol is important uh, useful
yes and whereas stateless in some cases that is important so generally tcp is a stateless protocol fine next one is tcp connections yes just on an http connections yes what we said uh, generally http in two forms http in two forms the first form is non persistent http so another one is the persistent http non persistence means uh, yes uh, i'll tell you okay and what is the persistence so if you are using the non persistent http for a web communication or downloading any picture or if the modem is out in some t-shirt for the sir yes so what happens when we are if the http is non persistent it is http non persistent is just like that uh for every uh, when you click a particular t-shirt yes the http clicks to the tcp tcp form a connection to the server yes and that particular uh what a t-shirt is downloaded in your system then automatically connection is closed got it that means for when you click a particular object yes the request go to the server that t-shirt is downloaded once the particular t-shirt is downloaded in your system and it is opened by the browser okay you can see that after that it will close the connection close the connection it is just like a uh, you can see a principal office or some other lab uh, a door uh, behind that a automatic close will be there yes sir every that means uh, you have you have fixed some equipment there to the door yes it will automatically close when you open go inside automatically it will close yes yes sir no that means for for it, it closes if second person wants to go uh, he has to open and he has to go inside yes? it automatically closes just like some a uh, principal office some like uh, some administrative office yes and uh, like uh, those people who are in administration yes so their door is automatically closed will be there yes for every object every person wants to enter he has to open and go open and go open and close open and that means what when the persons want to go or access yes has to open then open the connection automatically close the connection so that means if you say that if you are using the http for non persistent for every object is yes, for example if you are downloading is yes, somebody's picture is yes. yes, some set of here what is set of uh, t-shirts you are downloading t-shirt one different color is yes, with the next t-shirt or with this what is Uh, what is a uh, different t-shirts your different colors you are downloading for every object the tcp connection has to open and it will close and if you click second object in the web page second t-shirt once again http op- clicks to the tcp tcp can uh, form the connection to the server and it will download the particular object and then it will close if you are clicking third one so that means what for every object it connect to the server have a shake hand download that particular picture then close the connection yes sir so that is non persistent http persistence means what a continuous if it is non continuous means what yes so for every time it is closing closing yes whereas persistence like well, how yes your department should is uh, cabin yes so once morning swati opens the door yes till it is open anybody can any person can come and go if 10 persons or 15 persons whatever may be yes it is still open only still so the close is at 430 yes 4 or 430 yes or no that is persistent http that means what in once you have a tcp connection the shake hand is is open now shake hand is open yes the connection is open still you close this that means in between you can download any type type of any number of t-shirts any number of t-shirts that means the difference is previous one for downloading each object you have to have a shake hand download the picture and disconnect the service or close the tcp connection for second picture you have to form the connection download the picture and close the tcp connection so like for every object you have to make a connection download the picture and for every object you have to go for the close the this one but whereas persistent http once you open the connection 
because you have a different work different picture you want to see one hour close etc is yes? once it's open still you close it will open only so in between for every object you need not to go for a new connection new connection i think you got it yes just like a door a door with the uh, automatic yes, open automatic closed door one is open door okay so at most one object sent over tcp connection so for every object tcp connection you have connection connection then closed for every object the connection is closed downloading a multiple objects required multiple connection so for downloading more than 2 3 4 5 as yes, if the five objects are there you have to have five connection hands right yes and each uh, for every one you have to download you have the five closures but whereas if you use for using that persistent stp first you form a connection download five picture then close ones yes there is a for persistent stp only one open and one close will be there but whereas non persistent for every object you have a open and close open and close open and close okay got it so i think uh, what is the uh, this connection okay so next uh, what is the non persistence how it will work the connection says so this diagram says uh, how it will start the request and what is the reply then request then reply same same thing what we said uh, if it is non persistence you want to download the particular t-shirt have a connection then shake hand for shake hand download the picture yes then close the connection for every object so that you want to show in the form of diagram or uh, transmission messages suppose user enters url as yes, some some way because this file you want to disk uh, download or maybe a browser whatever maybe is yes. what is some school dot edu dot some department and so come home home dot index some index pages you want to download or of a particular browser or a book okay so now first the first http client initiate tcp connection to tcp server see that http is this we have seen that coco game game is there is coco game is tcp goes and put a code to sorry http put a code to the tcp then tcp takes the connection okay so http clients initiate tcp connection to the http server yes at using this url the port number is 80 at the server side the connection goes this like this is yes, request goes like this http server at host at some particular website is yes, waiting for tcp connection at port number 8 accept connection notifies the client that means there is a shake hand is yes, that means 1a and 1b reply to the 1b is yes, these two or is yes, these two or connection sometimes http request the connection but due to sometimes busy server busy it won't accept the connection then that means the client has to wait for some time he is accepting means connection has a shake and it established http client sends http request message containing the url into tcp connection socket message indicates that the client wants object as yes, second one is once the shake and is happened hello you are free yes i am free then i want this this particular t-shirt yes it is there sir please take it so that is in search a particular uh uh what is t-shirt yes and send back to that the particular this one yes so he'll that is data transmission phase a fine downloading phase he request a particular you click uh, this one t-shirt Yes, with the URL name is, yes, and then he'll to reply this one. So that is the data transmission space. So third one is what? What will happen when coming back? Yes, after transmission, when the coming back TCP server close the TCP connection. So what will happen when automatically our TCP when it is sent back to the data automatically close the TCP connection at server. Yes. So the response is the client receives receives response messages containing HTML file. And displays HTML, yes, and passing HTML file and finds tens reference JPG object, yes, whatever he requested that is downloaded, yes. So like that, if the ten objects are there, 
10 times TCP connection has to place. 10 T shirt you have to download because she won for yes. Uh, first time she is uh, uh, what is uh, birthday. She is giving 10 T shirts with the different colors, yes, with the different models. Yes, first time you know? so she was giving. So she is for every time she has to do the connection, transfer a T shirt and close. So, yes, next second T shirt she has to do like that. Okay, so like that you got it. Whatever the TCP faces are there, the same thing message has to be transferred. Shake hand, data transfer, and close. Okay? Non persistent TCP. So, uh, uh, you can see the picture. Yes? Can you see the picture? So, what is there in the picture? So, whatever the communication is there, so every communication has to be estimated, calculated, the time taken, as or not. So, like, uh, what is this picture says? You have a uh, 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 client uh, system, you have a server this side, yes? And uh, initiate the TCP con connection, that means first hello, he is saying the hello, yes? Hello request, then server says yes, response is yes, I am fine, yes? I, what, what can I do for you, yes? Then uh, he'll uh, so I want particular T-shirt. Please give the particular T-shirt name. Yes. Then click the URL. Then you, you are clicking the URL. Yes. Ah, when you click the URL, yes. Here the server right side. Yes, the server. What he will do? He will search the page and the T-shirt is a, a amount of uh, bytes. Yes or no? A amount of bytes. Maybe megabytes, a gigabytes. Yes, some bytes. So it will transfer. Bits, bytes by bytes, byte by bytes. So it will take time. Yes or no? That this dark one is what? First you send one kilobyte because it is a megabyte. First you send one kilobyte, second kilobyte, third kilobyte, fourth kilobyte. Yes, then it is ten, one megabyte. When it's become a one megabyte, the file is downloaded. That means this block source this is the starting the byte by byte. Yes, downloading. Yes. It will take some time, 5 minutes, 10 minutes. Yes. If you are downloading uh, any app, it will take some time. Yes, byte by byte. So this is the transmission. The time taken for the transmit the particular bytes. Yes, I think you got this. Yes. First is connection. This arrow mark shows towards yes connection, and this arrow mark shows that yes, yes the connection is established. Then he requests the particular uh, T-shirt. Yes, then. That t shirt is, yes. Say, take, please take the t shirt. That's first kilobyte, second kilobyte. Yes, like that. So it will, for the, if the, uh, the particular shirt takes um, 10 megabytes, then all the 10 megabytes uh, take the time to transmit to the client. After this, after this, at the end of the byte, the connection will be closer. Connection will be closer. Okay. So here, what you want to something is this saying that RTT. So what is the RTT here? RTT means round trip time, round trip time, a trip, yes, round trip, round means what, going and coming back, yes, sir. round trip time, yes, you are going to that, some other temple, or church, or masjid, or some other, yes, uh, uh, temple, so you are going, visiting there, and then you are coming back, and if you are going to your home, if you are going to your home, uh, uh, if you are going to your home, you are going, looking, yes, and you are coming back. That is down trip time. Because, yes, first she is giving the shake hand, yes, the server has to give the shake hand, yes. So this is our TT. So, yes, for connection, if it takes the 10 kilometers, if it takes the 5 minutes to transmit, from here to Modibidri, if you go to the uh, 15 minutes to travel, then back also it will take the 15 minutes. So total time is 30 minutes. That is our TT. Now the RTT is 30 minutes, yes. Next, the file. Then you are, yes, then once you are asking for the file, yes, it will take the 15 minutes. From there, yes, for coming one, for coming one kilobytes, we said now, that is take that RTT. Plus, and you have to second the second kilobyte, third kilobyte, fourth kilobyte, till one megabit completes, that is then that time, okay? So, for downloading a particular sheet, uh, particular t-shirt it will take 15 minutes plus 15 minutes then 15 minutes then 15 minutes plus by transmission time by transmission time 
You got it? Little bit idea? Have you got it? This? Yes, yes sir. First, shake on face. Second is data transfer. Yes. You are requesting then data has to be transmitted. Or TT plus number of bytes. The time taken for time taken for to transmit to all the kilobytes. Yes, sir. So that is. So this is the total time taken from starting this. Yes. Initiate TCP connection. Yes. Till file received. After five minutes, the file is received automatically at server side. The connection is closed. Okay. Connection is closed. So after this time, it will calculate. Yes, we started the connection. After this time, it will calculate. After this time, automatically, the connection is closed. Connection is closed. Yes. RTT time for small packet to travel from client to server and back. Client to server, then from server to client back. HTTP response time one RTT to initiate TCP connection. Yes. For TCP connection going and coming, that is shake hand. One RTT for HTTP request. Yes, one RTTP re request. Yes, then first bit is has come coming request and first few bytes of HTTP response to return. Yes, first with a few bytes it has to come the response. Then it take time to download all other bits. So non-persistent HTTP response time is equal to two RTT. You understood? The total time taken for the RTT is this, this one. Why it is two RTT? Shake hand phase and data transfer request phase. Yes. Plus the time taken for the all the bits transmission. You got this slide? All of you got this slide? Yes? Yes, sir. Are you there? All of you? Yes, sir. Yes, fine. So next yes, one is about yes, yes. Next one is was persistent HTTP. So still now we discussed about what is the non-persistence. HTTP has in two forms: persistence form. One is non-persistence. So just now we discussed non-persistence. What is the non-persistence? For every object, we should have a yes, shake hand and shake hand close. Yes, sir. What was persistence? I said. To open the connection, yes. How much time you want? You can communicate or download the T-shirt. At the end, if you are satisfied, you can close the connection. Just like Swati morning comes, open the department door or your class door, and it will close the class door at the end of the class. So in between, in many students can come and go, teachers come and go. Yes. The difference is. Non persistence will take more time compared to the persistence HTTP. But both have their own applications. Both have their own applications. How important? Anybody just guess? Anybody just guess what is the importance of non persistence? Just try it. Where we can use that non persistence? Yes, Srinadi. Where we can use non persistence? Yes, Srinadi is there. Hello? I think Srinadi is absent today. Eh? Present, sir. Oh, yeah. Can you hear my voice? Yes, sir. Oh, as I said, what is uh, importance or obligations of non-persistence HTTP? Can you just guess? Yes, anybody? No, others can, can't use that same site and order. Yeah, yeah. Generally, where you can use, you can yes, uh, yes, it is correct only. Uh, if it's I, open, then it can be used by anyone at that time. So yes, yes, yes. So that means what? Uh, like, uh, if it is open in the case of financial services, financial transaction, your online money transaction, you have opened the kind of username, password, you have opened, you have transferred some money. Yes. And because of some other call and friend called, we left and went. Yes, sir. And now, 
after some second it, if there is no uh, any movements in the web page right? there is no any uh, activity in the web page automatically it has to disclose yes otherwise what will happen if i open somebody wants to see yes now what is what sorry somebody is reading or what he what is there he what he has opened yes when you when you are absent so then he came and uh, do some transaction yes or no? he can transfer some money yes to his account yes if it is a non persistent after some second it is automatically disconnected it is automatically disconnected even if you open yes if there is no mouse or mouse movements on the screen yes after few seconds it is automatically disconnected so that you can overcome this problem and if it is a persistence yes so there you have opened yes the session is opened always and somebody come and do something yes so like it each one has its own applications yes fine um yes so here is persistence yes Re required to ott yes per object what you want to say that for every object we record how many to ott one is for the connection then data transfer and close the total ott that we have just, just we have seen os over it for the each tcp connection what is the problem with the non persistence every time connect transfer then close so it is headache for the server is yes, connection and then close connection and close browser often open parallel tcp connection is yes, for each referenced object so what you want to write so uh, like if you want at a time if you claim five five objects if you click five objects for every object you have to connect is yes, transfer and close when you click five objects parallel it will connect the server parallel it connect to the server persistence http server leaves connection open after sending the response after downloading the first t-shirt also yes connection is open only subsequent http messages between same client and server over open connection yes so subsequent object if even if you download connection is open yes no you have not closed when you, you only close then it is closed otherwise it won't close client sends a request as soon as it encounters a referenced object yes all as a title as one rtt for all yes for referenced object what you want to say that it will take two rtt but whereas persistence take the only one rtt because that means what you want to say for one object or many objects also yes it will take only one rtt yes connection then download connection and download yes or no connection and download that's it connection when you say uh, when the server says yes uh, i can store the the object connection then store download for every I mean, there is no there is no uh, For every other, there is no more connections. Okay. Now you can see, uh, you can see that uh, you can just uh, uh, see that uh, the protocols uh, format, request message format. Yes. So generally, now uh, they may ask these questions. So just you just write down this. Just write. Once you write, you can remember this. The two types of HTTP messages: the request uh, request message and response message. Yes, just write once all of you. HTTP request message. So, so whatever the message you type, yes. So it is like ASCII format, and you can see that when you are sending a message, yes. So, uh, how it will take place? So, what are the different fields you have? Yes, what is the meaning of each one? Just write down this first. You can see in maximum papers, yes, HTTP request format, HTTP response format, yes. So what each field will say is, yes. so mainly in networks, you have to remember the diagrams. Mainly important is diagram. If the diagram connections, yes, the arrangements in proper manner, yes, then that means you know the the communication. And the same thing. 
for every protocol there is a particular format will be there you should know that yes what are the it is the mail format yes you have the two cc's are there and and then you have that what the subject will be there and then you have the starting the greeting will be there body will be there down yes and we have some other yes from where the message has come like particular format will be there in the same manner uh, http request message have it it's one format just boy Yes, G1. Are you drawing this? G1 is there. Shobit. Shobit is not there. Present, sir. Yeah, just draw it. Huh? So every time they ask this question, yes. And the, generally they may ask the questions. So what is the difference between persistence and non-persistence? Persistence and non-persistence. And generally, you may get the questions on yes, a persistence protocol communication problem. Persistence protocol communication problem. So, what is the total time taken? Or sometimes they may ask the persistence is yes, communication protocol problem. They may ask what is the time taken. Yes, they may give four five objects, and first object take this much. The total time taken is yes. so like that. You may get the questions most of the time. You may get. Or like how the uh, HTTP request will work? Yes, or HTTP or not? Sorry, uh, not HTTP request is how the non-persistent HTTP will work. Yes, uh, how the persistent HTTP will work? So what is the difference between these two? Yes, they may have some problems on this. Yes, and most of the times, if you see, yes, uh, like header format, header format. I have completed. Nandi. Nandi is there. Yes, sir. Nandi is complete. Sir, sir. Yes, you draw that particular header format. You can see the PPT. Ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Make it fast. Guru Prasad, can you hear me? Guru Prasad. Guru Prasad is absent today. Yes. Guru Guru Prasad, can you hear me? Sweta. Yes, sir. Yeah, Sweta completed. No, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Draw it. Yes. What it says. If you draw one, says you remember something. Okay, sir. Yeah, yeah, right. So, yes, a request line, guess, propose, head commands. So, yes, first line, what is that? Get index.html, HTTP 1.1 version. What is the R? Carries written character. What is the N? Line feed character. What is the second line is there? HTTP, sorry, host. So who is the host? www.netcs umas.edu. Yes, that is the their host. Yes, then slash or and slash in. Then user agent. Yes, so who is the user agent here? Is a Firefox or any browser, Microsoft yes, Explorer, whatever maybe, because the direct client is not yes. Other agent is agent means it helps to the your client. And what is the version 3.6.10? Yes, slash r and slash n. Next, accept text dot html application slash yes, html plus xml plus or plus n yes. Accept language is yes, because we are using a language as key at the user level. Okay, en us yes, and en yes, q0.5 slash or slash in accept encoding. Yes, so encoding will take place at application layer. Yes, so your 
compression also it will take Krishna application layer if the message is big you have to compress and send yes encoding so because directly it is in high level language you have to convert into that assembly language language yes those things or any other coding formats are there yes that you can apply at application layer accept encoding zip gzip yes data yes definition definition is all on n okay next is as accept character character set yes iso 8859-1 yes generally we use utf utf8 yes q0.7 slash a slash n next one is keep alive yes the connection has to be yes Keep alive 115 slash or slash m connection. Keep alive slash m slash m. Yes. Carries return line feed huh? at store. Carries return at the end of yes. return feed at start of the line indicates. Okay. And end of the header lines. Yes. The second one, first line. What is the second line? It indicates is. Yes? end of the line okay so i think you got this little bit yes what is there so whatever it is a protocol is there it is nothing but a a program program is nothing but a set of functions yes we have the get function yes you are what you are doing in http yes so madam wants to download the t-shirt so what is get yes so that is see, what function it is get index.html http okay so that is an header command so a packet if you say that uh, if you say the packet so you have the header and data in header you have a particular command that is get that's all that is the header command is get there are many other commands of the get put a post um, commands are there yes so you are using get from so and so url yes and you are using the firefox delay delay yes uh, have you completed this have you completed all of you yes yes sir yes now uh, you just uh, request message general format like uh, if you see uh, in the form of a diagram yes uh, it looks like this yes uh, you can you have to draw this one also so in exam if they ask you have to draw this one also so what is the request line header line and body what is this report for the request line header line and body yes in request line what all are the method yes what is method get method put method post method is yes. and then uh, some space will be the space space then url yes i said now what is from where that url has to get you must that a particular web server web server address next space version so whichever the http you are using that version so version is important and if you are using this client said if you are using one version for example if version is 5 at server sir it also it should be 5 or greater than 5 should be 5 or greater than 5 so if it is in a server you may have all versions but whereas in a client because you are client you are using the public booth yes to search a particular t-shirt yes but you don't know about like which version of this it is yes so but whichever version you use http client version at server side that has to be equal or more than that one that is version is important that's that's why yes version is why why the version is important means their capabilities will differ their capabilities will differ yes because new features will be added so if the both versions are same communication is easy yes if the lower version it's difficult because some features are not added so you have to so always should be higher version then uh, then you have that cr and lf yes we will go through, we'll go through uh, these fields later 
then header field name okay so what the header field name we have given okay then what is the value yes header line header field name and the value is yes. that was different different fields are there in the header field source destination yes header what to header consists of generally source destination port number is yes. ip number mac number everything will be there yes here yes. right then enter body entity body this entity body is nothing but a load okay load is yes. so this is whole part request line and this header line all are comes under header only the body is actual data yes and uh, uploading uh, I, i have completed this just go through this yes rahul rahul completed second diagram Yes, sir. Rahul, Rahul is there. Asif, Asif. Yes, sir. Yeah, I hope everybody has to speak. Yes, otherwise I'll consider here it is an absent. Okay, Minto. Minto, yes, first two. Yes. Yes, the header format. If you see that uh, most of the questions, yes, they may ask the header format. Yes, and uh, Salman, Salman is there. Yes, Salman, have you gone for shooting? Yes. We will 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 we'll, we'll take yes. We will take absent. Okay. Okay. Ah, see, all of you, you can take the response message also. The diagram of response message you take. Response messages so that yes uh, yes what is there in response messages yes A response from server is yes. HTTP version yes what is two hundred okay yes so for each uh, that is a response generally or uh, for every request and response there will be a code will be there yes. Like 400, 502. Like generally, if you won't get sometimes server this, you are unable to connect to that server. You will get like 420, 400 for some messages will get. So yes, the 400, 200 means it is okay. Connection is okay. Or in the date, yes. So I'm sure it's 26 September 2010. Yes, with the time format GMT. Yes, then server. So which server? It is from. Apache server. Yes, that version is 2.0.5.2. Yes, which OS is using? Cent OS. Server is Cent OS is using. Else, last modified. Yes. So, or any updates are there? Yes. Or recent connection? That date also will be there. On that date of 2017, it was modified. Yes. And then what? E tag will be there. Yes. Yes, what is E tag? Seventeen D C D six. Yes, E five C. Okay. Then accept ranges in bytes. Yes, uh, from so on so yes. Content length. Yes, uh, the, what is the T-shirt length? Yes, content length. Yes, keep alive. Yes, uh, for time out. See that ten minutes. Yes, they have given maximum. It can take. Yes, minimum maximum. Connection. Yes, keep alive. So the connection oriented is yes, that means we are using the HTTP persistence is yes, connection type yes and after some time okay so like that and this is whole header information what are the details of the data and the details of both persons yes sir no. now here the persons are client and server so client is sending back that means. Is sending to the client, required client address, 
and the server details yes and the details about the data inside what is the size yes uh, what is the length time taken for the size yes uh, who has recently access recent access for this recent that particular t-shirt all the information will be there yes in the header so header i have if you see anybody if i capture the packet if you see the header i can uh, if it is generally it is encrypted and say that i have decrypted the packet and if you see that we'll get the, all the information yes from where this packet is coming and where this packet is going okay and what is the total size of the data and the type of the data which versions are there so all the information there by seeing the head i can see that what is there in the stomach of the packet yes, sir. so just complete this picture all of you completed yes guru prasad no sir yes sir yes sir guru prasad is there yes sir ah no down sir no down Yes, fine. Yes, you note down this one. Okay, uh, I'll uh, stop here. Okay, sir, may I start the class early. Sir is having meeting, sir. Okay, so okay, I'll I want to close at eleven by eleven. Okay, uh, I'll just note down this. If you have any doubts, you can ask me. Okay, I'm stopping the video recording. Okay.